Okay, so we were chained down by our aunt for some reason. Doing some really weird shit. My slippers. I use it when it's raining and I can't go outside. Oh, and also, top of the show here. Content warning: gore, lots of gore. Uh, other themes of child abuse, uh, some other weird stuff. Look, that's a hidden panel in a wall, not an actual door, which is interesting, but okay. Oh, I love this comic. Okay, nothing interesting there. Try the choo-choo train is the best. Big doll my daddy and I uh, built together. Also, yeah, her family got kind of sliced to pieces, so... Oops. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and they sh they've shown it at least two or three times thus far in the game. It's chapter, it's, we're in chapter five, like, uh, it's not a spoiler at this point. Okay. In the winter, I got the magical desk away. Oh, hello, what are you doing on my bed? Are you sick? Your bed, this is my bed. No, I'm not sick. You need chained. You're, are you a dog? Wait, do I know you? I'm not a dog. And yes, I'm chained. Can you unlock it? Oh, you are, myself? You really are. I think so, that just means I managed to enter the ultra reality. You mean, it weren't already? He always talks about that. Yes, I met him already, but I haven't seen him since the crash. You crashed? That means you're broken. I'm not broken. Why would you say that? Think about it. The only way to cross into ultra reality is to break the eyes or to break the ears. Break the physical limitation. That sounds extreme. You think I'm dead? No, not at all. It's only the desire. It's a mental state. They? Who are they? All the creatures that we can see. The black ones. The white ones. You know how we can see these things? Yes, a man called Leon came to visit once and told me everything. Oh, can you tell me then, so we can, why we see the things we do? What, what about if I help you unlock the handcuffs first, then we can talk? Good idea. I also need to find Mr. Midnight. I think he's in danger. And Grace blames him for the death of our parents. Who is Mr. Midnight? Oh, we she, this version hasn't met the cat yet. What? That's our kitty, you know. He's the best. I don't have a cat. I guess that's the difference between us. Anyway, let me see if I can unlock you. So it, uh, it so happens I'm a key collector. I'll be right back. Uh, so... Oh, so I'm her now. A oh, sweet, sweet melody. The shirt is angry with me. It didn't fit, so I said it was a dumb shirt. It's been lying on the sh sh floor since then. These are pants and can be used by creatures with two legs. Or as a hat for those with long ears. Anyway, I won't use them now. The police guy from Wintertime. What is he doing here? It's not winter. I'll pick it up some other time. And my super cute rabbit. I like to make it cry. I only to make it laugh again. And then be mad at it. Okay. Big, big teddy, these big, big monsters. Please talk. I know you can. No? You're a bad teddy. You like my show, little bear? I was the greatest dancer of them all. Thank you. You really think so? You're too upset. Would you like to talk? I know it's hard not having a leg. I can't find it, alright? It's not my fault. Alright, um... Okay, that's... I don't want to see if she has any commentary on other Fran here. Please, Fran, find a way to unlock me. I need to find Mr. Midnight. Come on, don't panic. Hello, Dr. Oswald. I'm completely normal, don't you see? A funny, clever girl, that's all. Yeah, this is already a little meta. The door's closed. If I open it, I'll get in trouble. If I get in trouble, I'll be sad. Alright, so... What do we got here? One blue blanket and one white. I don't need them right now. They are for when it's very cold. Right, to draw heavy faces and everything. Or to give color to the ugly things. Or just to draw on paper. I don't feel like drawing right now. Maybe I could make a paper boat. But I can't. I'm on a mission. Let's concentrate. Some of my clothing to make shows. I like to dress differently for every show. It gives it more character. Uh oh. Arg, that jacket. Girl, let's pull it so much. Oh no, okay, we need to close it. I should close it. We must put on that jacket to go outside. I can't even play then, it's quite useless. Oh, my yellow dress is pretty. I'll try not to grow up too much, so I can use it forever. If I grow up, I can I can use it as a shirt. Okay. You do bad things? That's why you're grounded, little lady. You won't come out yet. No, no. Looks like there's a box of keys on the floor there. Okay, so there's the doctor, too. Who does that to return with Edward and Palantris? I think Palantris is funny. It smells like bubblegum. Edward like likes to play all day long. Okay. My key collection. I hope we're going to unlock the other friend now. Alright, well, let's go back.
Let's see which key. Uh, that's looking like a handcuff key. All right, well, let's try another one. Um, nope. Unlocked. Okay. Thank you so much, friend. Hee <laughs> hee, you really have a lot of keys in there. Yes, don't you? Oh, friend, before I forget, the laundry told me that if we meet someday, I should give this to you. Here, I think it will help you to open something. Oh, the box. Laundry, you know him too? Wow, thank you. Yes, he also told me that if we met, you'd be ready for what's about to come up. What? Ready for what? Tell me. Oh no, I can't now. She's coming. Be quiet. Oh, this asshole. Come on, friend. You must see the doctor now. You didn't see me. Okay, so we just projected somewhere to somewhere else in the ultra reality? No, don't go, little friend. We have so stuff to talk about. The nurse is a bad, bad, bad nurse. She was the one lying in the newspaper about me. Anyway, I must find the monster. I'm sure you took Mr. Midnight. Nobody can take my kitty away from me. Nobody. Gonna fuck shit up. All right. See if we can't pick any of this up. Oh, hey. Dragon X. Oh, I love this comic. I like the part when the alien takes the girl to another planet. Always nice to see new places. Like a Thursday. Okay. Ride right, the choo choo train is the best. It sings all the time. Choo choo, and then you crash and die. Okay. Her name is Puan and she likes to be naked. She did dress once, but she burned it. Uh, photos. My lovely kitty, I love these pictures. I promise I'll find you, even if I have to do it all over again. I wonder where you are right now. Okay, same, same. Oh! That's cool. I don't even have the pills now, I'm just seeing this shit. I painted this one, it's Kitty and me. We were laying on the grass and looking up at the sky. I'm singing songs to Mr. Midnight, too. Time from the cuckoo clock. This cuckoo clock time, time tells time differently. If you to one side of it, you'll never grow old. Uh, interesting. Mr. Midnight's bed, all I can almost hear him purring. Oh, that's odd, the bed is still a little warm. It means he was here not so long ago. Yes, in the bed. Better plan is waking up chained to it. Anyway, I'll find Kitty and move to Ithersta. Nutcracker stands on guard. I think he's afraid of the ladies. Sometimes he bites me for no reason at all. Okay. Hey, it's these pinecone dudes. So were they just toys? Or oh wait. We have to shuffle them around in some capacity. We got a cork? I rescued the queen from my dad's playing cards. I was forced to cut out her twin sister, though. The other queen is dead now. Oh, that looks like a key. Tesla, he likes to play with energy. I dreamer is made of thunder. He was Thunder Man, superhero. It was Albert, and he likes relative things. It's convenient to think that everything is relative. Especially if you don't have a straight answer. Alright, we got a clothespin. Use a little piano to play lovely melodies. Oh, we should probably see what that note's all about. I don't know. Oh, wait. It looks like another piece of paper and a key. Something back there? I feel the texture. What could it be? My mother drew this flower for me. I lied to my friend and told her that I drew it. Then I told her the truth and she said it was okay. I don't like to drink sodas because my tummy gets mad. But a teacher made an instrument with lots of caps at it. It was a stick. Then we formed a band called Shock School and Sucks put together. School and Sucks. The Skucks? Alright, uh. Oh. Yeah, there's uh, more parts of this story or whatever. Hanging out here. I wrapped this painting for one of my friends. After that, I never invited him to play again with me. That's because I didn't want to show him what I stole from him. Go to the dollhouse. I don't need matches right now. Leave them there. Okay. 
Alright, what do we got here? The little golden box was having a hard time. All the screaming and the boogers were driving me mad. I press it by the ears, first twice to the left, and once to the right. I rub its only eyes. Two times to see if it has tears this time. I take him once by the left ear and scream, Stop whining, you little golden box. Press your eye again and open the door. So... Ears left, twice. Right once. Rub the eye two times. Left, grab the left. Oh, how much crap going on here? Let's see if we can fight get this key out of here. Yoink. It's gonna unlock something. Okay. Cool. Oh, maybe it's a hairpin, not a key behind that one. Alright. Crayons, Lady Gnome, Teddy Ballerina, yes, all in its place. She likes to read a lot. I know, because I taught her. I bet she can tell all the stories in the books from memory. I should teach her to talk, too, so you can tell me the stories. Time to the musical box. Reminds me of it word in a way. Aha, I love this picture of Mr. Midnight. He looks so confused. Mommy and I ate peanut butter and jelly sandwiches that day. I think Mr. Midnight ate a bunch of insects. this mirror to see my beautiful face. Also to comb my hair and see if the clothing fits. Sometimes I stare at my eyes for a very long time and get scared. Who's that? Oh, this is Alice from school. We like to play together. He tells me stories about a wonderful land she visits sometimes. Well, that's subtle. <laughs> How much fun making stuff up together. Probably just a nod, though. I don't believe you can hear the ocean in the shell at all. I think it's just my ear making it up. Anyway, it's pretty and I like it. My summer hat, it doesn't fit anymore, my head is too big. Mother always told me that it's because I have a big brain, but I wonder, is that a good or a bad thing? Who knows? Lots oh, of candy in the jar. Ew, this is cat hair all over it. I won't look at it. Oh, it's a little lollipop. I thought it was the box. Hello, don't look at me like that. We had a deal. You stay here until I grow up. Because grown up people are not afraid of dolls, I think. I'll take my sleeping bag when I find Mr. Midnight. But we can have somewhere to sleep, and it's there still. Oh, Edward comes by to get me. I don't want to be here anymore. Box of stuff. A school case. I may need it. My tiny sock for my tiny feet. I'll just leave it there. Okay. Balloons. Okay. The shoes. They like to cover my feet. These make me think of the great dancer in a thirst set. wonder if he will dance again without the shoes. Just a regular scarf. Doing what regular scarves do. Go for when it's windy and cold. Oh, wait. my lovely peach dress for sunny days. Go for when it's windy and cold. December dress. It has a big button. But I can't click on the last one. I don't think there's anything behind there, but it is fun to mess around with. All right. Um, I don't remember having the door removed. How do I get out then? I can't walk through walls. I want to find Mr. Midnight. I have to find the door. Alright, is there anything we can observe outside? Or is it just like... Wow, things have changed a little bit. The house looks so old and bloody. I wonder what happened to the street. Our right, Kamala, nasty creatures. Poor tree, you must be really sad with a Kamala eating from him. No Kamalas don't like water. Excuse me, is somebody down there? Yes, I'm somebody. Hello, have you seen a black cat? No, I have not seen a cat, but I do see a black thing eating from me. Eating from you? I think it's a Kamala. Are you alright? No, not really. I don't feel very well. I feel sad. Well, I need mean, yeah, to help you. I got rid of a Kamala once all by myself. Really? That sounds promising. I'd love to be happy again. See what I can do. Don't worry. Alright, let's go back in, because there's probably some more stuff to go through. MSB, please don't tell me how to play the game. Thank you. No backseating. But I guess, since you have spoiled this for me, I shall take the button.
Okay, I can't use it without something else. I already forgot the... the thing here. Where are you at? All right. So... Twice to the left and once to the right. The left, left, right, I, I, left, 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 right, I, I, left, I. Oh my goodness, it opened. I'm a master. What do we get? Instructions and a key. A key with a cat symbol. That can't be... Oh wait, wasn't there... Something in here? Oh! Hey! Yeah, I feel like... That might be a thing. Alright, Mabuka Mabuka, wake up Mother Mabuka. The horned child is playing with the light. The Volocus is angry and shining too bright. Mother Mabuka... Wake up, wake up, and give the child before the darkness ends in the hands of the light. Mabuka must wake up. Let's build the ECOG clock on the back of a giant cat. Too strong are the bubbles and too bright the light, she cried. Me, Mabuka, the mother of darkness, will open my heart. Please take my little horned devil, evil child and shut down the lights. So, okay. Bottle with water. Let's wake up, Mabuka. Why would Palantras give me this? It must be important. I think I must build it. Besides, it's designed by Cogwind, the clockmaker. Oh, okay. We have the school case and the piano keys. I get it. We're going to find the parts in the other stuff. Piano keys being the little piano we have here. I don't think we need that. Oh. This is a bar of soap, though, I think. We uh, pry that apart at all. Nope, okay. Might be somewhere else. Let's take another look at the list. Bulb. Lock. Water bottle. Soap. Glove wire. Bulb would, well... Got one up here somewhere. No. Okay. Oh, let's we'll see what's in the cases. Can't use it. Uh, open it? Cool case. Alright, well, I guess we'll try using this with this. For now. Boom, combine. Won't work. Maybe. Try that. Secret in your tummy. Okay, we have a door now. Maybe the other parts are elsewhere in the house then. Alright. Please don't stab me upon exiting. Okay, oh! I mean, the exterior got weird. I can see why the interior might have also gotten weird. What's going on in this thread? Well, that was anybody living here? Hmm, the door is locked. I guess I have to unlock it to go inside. Door 103. Ew, it's all bloody. I wonder what's behind this one. I need a key to unlock it. Hello, door 104. Open, please. You won't? I need You need a key? Hmm, I'll see what I can do. There's a key right here. No matter of which one it's going to open. We got two keys right here. Okay. What a big eye. What are you looking at? Are you looking at my beautiful face? Do I know you? You seem familiar. Door 105. It's locked, of course. Just have to find the key to open it. Knock, knock. Nobody answers. Alright. Anything else to interact with here? Nope. Alright. Let's just start throwing keys at things. 
He doesn't fit. He is too big for that one. All right, door 104, open. door 105 open. I like a roof. Alright, more eyeballs. I love it. And trilobites. Or no, I'm sorry. Trilobites are the, the bug-looking ones. These are uh, ammonites. My bad. It's really our infiltrator. Why would you enter without presenting yourself? I am Ocula, the eye from beyond. Behold my beauty. Oh, I'm sorry. What a big eye you are. You must see very well. I see everything. Nothing less. Everything? Can you see my cat? Your cat? How is it possible that you own a cat? Are you royal? Queen? Princess? No, I don't own him, but we have a relationship. We're friends. Friends? How lovely. But yes, I did see a cat earlier today, which was crying for help from inside a cage. The bearer of the cage entered Mabuka's underground. He's still down there, inside the cage. Can you describe the cat you see? Big yellow eyes, pink nose. Its fur is very dark. Black as the deepest night. It's him. It's my friend Mr. Midnight. I have to go and find him. But Mabuka is asleep. Waking her can end in disgrace. I'm not afraid of her. Well, feel free to take anything you need from my home. How polite of an eyeball. You are very, but I respect bravery very much. Oh, I'm drifting to the tree voice there. Thank you, Okula. I'm Fran, by the way. See you around. Okay, so... The golden snail. Is somebody in there? Maybe the snail is asleep. Shh. Hello, curtains. Are you hiding something from me? I can't just move the curtains. They're quite heavy. Hmm, what to do? That sounds like... Slice-o-matic slices the curtain for you. Okay, maybe not. I tried. Might just be nothing. Oh, wait, there's a big cord right here. The eyes are looking around. I wonder what they see if they don't have a brain. Maybe Okula, but she can't be the brain because she's an eye. Doink. Hey, those are stairs. We check everything else first for in case that actually leads to one. Ah, a hairbrush to brush hair. Okay, it's the same stuff. Ouch, the bulbs are very hot. I don't want to touch it again. I don't really have anything to touch it with, but it looks like that's where we get the bulb. I hope you find your cat friend soon. I can see, still see him inside that cage. Wait, what's this? Is that a light switch? Hey! Yoink! Alright, so we got the light bulb, and it should... I just noticed the cross-offs are in green, like the crayon we have. That's great. So, we need a clock, water, a uh, bottle of water, probably get the bottle separately and have to fill it. Uh, soap bar, one glove, and black wire. Uh... Alright, what's all this then? Hey! Oh, uh, that's, that's an... Oh, there's some soap. Oh, this is 103. I see. It crosses over. I mean, this wire in the near future. Uh... There we go! Got him! I think it just came from the machine. There's no power now. Alright, so let's put that back. Oh, and that's the where the button goes. That's where it would have told me to use that. Alright, use that with that. Alright. My kitty lick, would lick and chew that out of you. There's a bottle right there, too. What a surprise. Alright. Use insert button. Haha, -ha, hello, happy monkey. Is your name Darwin? Nice to meet you. I'm Fran. You play the drums very well. Oh, it says it on the drum. Paper swirls, just like in the Thursday. Reminds me of Sunday in the park. Uh, I guess it's in that wheel. Okay, those lips are terrifying. And uh, thank you for the follow. That's not the key. At least I, go, I hope this can help me somehow. Just go away, monkey. Now we'll take that. Can I get me a free bottle? Okay. Bottle's well, perfect. I'll take it. Okay, it doesn't... Well, oh, yeah, I can't get down there and interact with him. So we probably have to go around the other side. and I, Or actually get the key to the door. Um, I didn't actually look at the mirror. I don't think of that. Oh, this mirror is transparent. It's more like a window. A winner? 
Please pay your licensing fee. Thank you for using the free version of Winrar. Oh, the Black Horde is part of this stack, right? So, Glove, Clock. Okay. Uh, pliers. We haven't done 105 yet, so we'll see what's up there. Uh, yeah, we do horror games every Tuesday here, so... Probably wrapping this up tonight. I don't know what I have to do next week, but... Every morning is Animal Crossing, and Wednesdays are racing games. Otherwise, I don't really have anything solidly slated again yet, but I'm here a lot, so thank you. It is indeed very mysterious. The eyes are crying tears of blood. Tears painting is a mysterious place. All right, um... No, Mr. Skull, you have a little flesh left on you. My kitty would look and chew that out of you. Would you like to be eaten by, be my, by, be eaten by my kitty? I don't think that's appropriate, miss. I'm sorry, but I need this key. There are many doors that I wish to unlock. Tell your friend to be nice and open. Oh. Tell your friend to be nice and open his mouth. So I didn't see where the uh, triangle was there. He won't. He never does. Besides, his teeth are reinforced. It would be hard to get that key without his permission. Reinforced teeth? I see. I'll see what I can do to take the key then. Who are you, if I may ask? Well, I'm Fran. Nice to meet you, Fran. I'm Roberto. Welcome to my book, Dad. Mabuka? Who is Mabuka? You don't know who Mabuka is. No, uh, leave now. Just leave. But Roberto, sir, I've been here before. Don't judge me. For, don't judge me for not knowing. Tell me who Mabuka is instead, so I know. Okay, okay. Mabuka is the mother of the darkness. Oh. Oh yeah, she's mentioned in the journal. The dark, the darkest darkness, the obscurity, the end of night, light. Mabuka is the mother of all creatures from the fifth reality. What? Am I the fifth reality? I thought Remor was the king here. Ah, uh, Remor, the terrible black, the son of darkness. Nobody likes him too much. You should go now. I've said enough. All right, I'll be back later anyway. I must get your friend's key. All right. Uh, well, I have pliers. That's probably what I need for that. Inside the little house. Yeah, we did the. Oh, I see. That is indeed very mysterious. <coughs> Okay, so all these paintings. Um, what suppliers is this guy? Uh. Ow. Amateur dentistry. Oh, could you? I hope someone takes off your teeth as well. Well, the Tooth Fairy already took my baby teeth. Insane, isn't it? Weird. Any little key, come here. I wonder what door you'll, you'll unlock. Oh, I can't take some free teeth. Bit of a disappointment. I'm guessing the key, the first key you get is the one for this one, and it's supposed to tell you to go back and check the dollhouse if you're not investigatory like me. Oh, I don't have any phone numbers yet that I know of. Oh, he forgot his hat. Or maybe the hat forgot his head. Oh, hi. How's it going? Does the sound of my heart disturb you? It can stop all of a sudden. That would be the end. I don't like thinking about my heart's beat. I just want the soap. Soap? Are you having trouble with hygiene? Yes, terrible problems with hygiene. I smell like my flesh was all rotten inside. But that sounds delicious. I don't think that would be a problem. Maybe for you. Just let me have the soap, just for a little while. All right then, take it. It's all yours. Free soap. Well, that was easy. But be careful with the hijackers. They love children that smell like soap. They eat their baby bodies and keep their heads. Beautiful baby faces. That sounds terrible. I'll be careful. Thank you for the soap. See you later. Uh, you took my soap. Why did you take my soap? You have IG pro okay. Take the rest of the stuff. Cool whale. Oh, a painting of a whale. Very nice. Real whales are nice too. Very amazing creatures. Uh, oh, there's a tap here. All right, I can't take the rose. It looks like, but we got a bottle, so. Turn on the faucet, then use the bottle. Fill the bottle of water. La la la. We make us ourselves some water balloons, maybe. That's probably how we take care of the uh, the Kamala outside. Ah, the powerful water balloons. All right, anything else we need to get wet? I don't think so. Alrighty, so we just need a glove and a clock. No 
Oh goodness, I missed. Alright, come on, Nashi creatures. Do I have another one? Alright, almost. Got him. Yes, I did it. Goodbye, Kamala. There's only one word. Wow, I don't feel the sadness anymore. Thank you. No way, I'm happy you feel better. I do feel better. Let me give you something in return. A sticky stick. There, a piece of me. You can plant it if you like. Yeah, thank you, sir. I have to go now. I must find my cat. Hope you find it. See you around. Was the stick on the list, or I, I probably just need it for something else? It's something about planting it, too, so... Go find something soil-like. Or otherwise plant-adjacent. What else do we have? We got water soap. I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I'm thinking we might need. Oh, we have that hairbrush. Hmm. Well, we have one key. Okay, does not work with the blood door. I'm kind of not surprised. I have a feeling the blood door is the last one. Hey! Oh, there's an alarm clock. And there's a glove. This is coming together pretty easily. Back of the jack. Oh! That was in the, the poem, wasn't it? Oh, I think. Oh, we have to put the whole thing together on the back of the giant cat. Okay, okay. A wake up clock. Perfect. Wow, what a big cat. Uh. The. Uh, yep, just unfasten that. Cool. Um. Okay. Look at this tree first. Hello, tree. You're big. What are those red things coming from inside you? I guess it won't tell. Can't reach it, can we? No, we got it. Okay. Excuse me, tree. I want the glove. Thank you. All right. Um. We have all the parts. Oh, hi. How are you doing? Oh, that's probably the key for the last room. Excuse me. I really need the key hanging just behind you. That's what the comb's for. Excuse me, but I do not talk to strangers. You don't need to talk, just let me take the key. If I choose not talking to strangers, not listening is also part of the deal. How disappointing. I have a question. Are you stuck to this tree? I am firmly attached to it. Why do you ask? I'm just curious. See you later. Alright. Work before. Look, I fit a magical hair comb. Isn't it great? I don't know. A haircut? What is that? Well, it's to make your hair very pretty and smooth. Would you like to try it? I don't know. Is it dangerous? It can be very pleasant if you do it smoothly. Alright, let's try it. Alright, but just promise you won't burn me, okay? I don't want to burn if I'm in danger. Be gentle and nothing bad will happen. Okay, I'll be gentle. Yay! We made a fiery eyeball friend. It worked! What is happening to me? I've never experienced anything like this before. I'll go back to the tree again. Aha, you're a Lucifer, not Lucifer. I do, I've met do this all the time. It is. Well, thank you very much. It feels incredible. I feel like I need to fly away. And then now we probably need the stick to get the key. At least the logic on this move is a lot smoother. Really, it was only the one with like the clock and the spell stuff that I had trouble with, and that was because of, I couldn't think to freaking cut a hole in a basket to get a lemon. Alright, we got keys. Elevator go down the hole. Like, we have all the parts for the clock, I think. I'll go unlock the door, but... I don't know if I want to go to the meat room before plugging the clock in. Alright, what do we got here? About to combine them. Alright, combine. Maybe just... Throw it all in there. Let's 
soap. Light bulb. Sword. Piano desk. Well, that's something. Oh, I probably have to make it and then take it with me. Okay. Oh my goodness, this is amazing. The e-card clock, it's finished. Fantastic. Oh, we got the Mabuka with this. Hmm, I wonder how it works. The mechanics seem a bit unusual. I mean, you did staple... Oh, whatever. Yeah, you did basically glued a clothespin to the side of a pencil case, but whatever. Oh, hi. You must be Mabuka. Creature from above, get out of Mabuka's den. Yeah, oh, that's what he's in. What? Okay, well. Creature from above, get out of Mabuka's den. Out from Mabuka's den, you're not welcome. Excuse me, but I'm looking for my cat. I need to wake up Mabuka. Mr. Mabuka? Mother Mabuka for you, arrogant little infant. And how did you plan to wake her up, eh? With the crazy ideas of Cogwin? Cogwin is a nice clockmaker. He's not crazy. Oh, so you know him. I assume you've been to Thirsta. Hard place, I may say. Too dazzling. Well, that's exactly where I want to go after I find my kitty. Good for you. Your fragile little mind will be safe there with all those boring creatures. I'm going now, you wicked tree. My kitty is waiting for me. Guy's a douche. These look like human skulls. I wonder if they all died trying to enter Mabuka's heart. I have to be alert. You never know what can happen. Oh, you don't scare me a bit. Same reaction to all of them. Alright. Oh, hello, little boy. Are you having a lovely time? Are you a friend of Mabuka? Oh, hello, goat. You look a bit like Ramor. Are you cousin Ramor, maybe? You're much prettier, though. Alright. Take a look at Mabuka. Wow, what a big, beautiful face. Are you Mabuka? If yes, then I must wake you up. Cogwin came up with a machine to wake you up, so be prepared. Well, here goes nothing. It does seem like a, a machine that would annoy the piss of me. Ah, beware of, beware of Mabuka. The awakened darkness rises from the unknown. I'm sorry to wake you up, Mother Mabuka, but I need a favor from you. Did somebody tell me who this creature is? <laughs> the, the graveliness was not a good idea. <coughs> Quite insolent for such a tiny body. Excuse me, but I can answer that myself. I'm Fran Bo, human girl, 11 years old, and very brave, so you know. A human in Mabuka's den? That's amusing. What? Who brought you here? That would be Ramor. I think he's your son, isn't he? Did my son managed to enter your head already. You mean like cutting my head open? I don't think so. You drink or eat some sort of reddish potion or beans? Beans? My pill look like, pills look like red beans, so yes, I took a whole bottle. But I cannot use violence against you. The power has been unleashed. Uh-oh. I hope you find beneath the ground the truth that you seek. Thank you, but what power has been unleashed? Can you tell me? Power inside you, don't you know? You were selected by the five realms of essential existence to be the keeper of the key. Three. Okay. Five realms of essential existence was created parallel with time. What? What are you talking about? The keeper of the key? Who told you this? The great Velocus from Prime Eve told us everything a long time ago. The keeper will be hunted by the Son of Darkness after feeding from the Red Sea. All this Red Sea talk reminds me I really need to get the uh, remake of Deadly Premonition before the sequel comes out. Well, remaster, really. But you are young, I must say. Too young indeed to be the keeper of the key. Something about you. Did something obscure happen to you? You think Ramor killed my parents, Mother Babuka? So this is a little, 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 little weird. Sorry. I am all of those feelings, Franbo. I am all the sinister, all the darkness you can imagine. Feet from tears and sorrow, from desperation and fear. But then you don't care for more killing my parents? I thought you were nice. I am curious about knowing re the reason, if it makes you feel better. Now I understand. It's the reason itself, the truth you're seeking. Go on, Keeper of the Key. Be brave now. I'll open my heart for you. Pretty chill for a weird demon mother, I must say. I'll take it. Skellingtons. And masked demons. 
Oh, that creature's body is made out of baby faces. Oh, they were talking about that earlier. Bath Boy said something about this. I think it's the hijacker. Do I know you for... Do I know you... Um, I'm trying to... I'm trying to... Do I know you from somewhere? You took something from me, didn't you? You little thief. Where's my knitting needle? Ah, did you stab all your little friends with it? What? Knitting needle? Are you the dead nurse I saw back in the Oswald Asylum? Do I look dead to you? Ah, you little beast. Take your number, would you? And wait till you tell in the waiting room. But Miss Nurse, I don't need medical attention. I just want to find my kitty. Take your number and wait. I won't repeat myself. Alright, we got more pain. They listen, they see, and they touch. In a way, I feel I'm back in the Oswald Asylum. But it can't be. Or can it? Uh, well, I can't really go out this way. I don't have any res anything resembling a knitting needle here. There's our ticket. We're number seven. Let's take a number. I hope I get any good one. Oh, that creature's by. Oh, yeah. Okay, can we talk to it? Nope. Okay. Um. There was the phone, too. Maybe we can call with something. something with a phone number on it. Maybe, yeah, we'll try just dialing seven. Look through this in another episode, so yeah, okay. Um, phone here or 104? It's here, okay. Oh, you have so many questions. We trade. Oh, I see. I didn't see the eyeball on the side there. I'm sorry. Let's take a look around. Oh, wait, how long will it give us wait now? Hours, maybe days. I've been waiting for a week now. How's there a long, long as everybody been waiting? Hmm, I've been waiting for like a month. But I have number two, so it must be my turn very soon. I've been waiting for three and a half weeks. Totally hopeless. Hey, excuse me, everyone. Is there a way to make things faster? Yes, hey, become a doctor yourself. That would be faster. And by doing that, you could also help us all. Why would you become a doctor yourself, then? I can't because I feel very sick. I can't. My art... My R eye is blinded. And he's broken horn, you see? I can't be a doctor, I must be a patient. Neither can I. Or neither can I. I already forgot which voice was which. I don't even care anymore. Neither can I. I've lost my ability to frighten myself in front of the mirror. Why not take it off? Please, let me go before you, okay? I don't even know, I don't even know what illness I have, that's why I'm here. But how can you not know? Do you feel pain somewhere? Very hard question. Make it softer. How can I make a question softer? That's very strange. Hey, have you tried pulling your eyes off? It helps sometimes. Hardly enough. It's impossible to talk sense with any of you. Of course you can't make sense of us. You're not the one that sees it all. You only know this for a few minutes. Very little time to understand it all. And that's very true. It would be nice to use some common sense. Why? What does common sense do that uncommon sense doesn't? Good point. Do I have to better understand each other? We do what? We well, understand understand each other very well, our common sense anyway. That's what we actually do. We respect the differences. 
But who's the one that sees it all then? You mean Mabuka? No. Mabuka knows everything. That's not the same as seeing everything. Now, I want to wait, because, uh, while talking, we'll make the way go faster. Huh, all right, thank you for nothing. There's the counter thing. Either that must be the number display. Take ages to get the yeah, number seven. Get a better number, like number two. You can talk to each individually. Then it was funny at the beginning, but now it's just boring. Wait. I think my home won't grow again. It's gonna be very we're gonna be very angry because of that very soon. Screen, I have number two. It's almost my turn, so we have to find a way to convince this guy to trade. My well, eye is broken, but the big eye told me that because she sees it all. Oh, yeah. Alright, so. Did you pass it to exchange our tickets? I have number seven. No, I need to know if I'm in pain. I need to know what illnesses I have. What if I find out what illnesses you What if I find out what illnesses you have? Would you then give me your ticket? Sure, I'm still here when you come back. Okay. So... If the eye lady can see everything, maybe she can see what's up with this dude. The 102 or... I think it was 104. Yeah. Talk to me about this freaking guy. Excuse me, I need your help. Of course you do. What can, what, can, what can I do for you? Can you tell me why illness the creature who has the ticket number two suffers? He's in the waiting room, waiting. Hmm, let me see. Ah, I see him, but from what I see, it's not really an illness. It's just a headache caused by the low levels of agony in him. Wow, but is it possible to help him somehow? I need his ticket. Yes, crying all the tears you can cry until you fill this bottle will do it. But don't forget, the tears must be caused by real sorrow. That would be a problem. I'm in a, I'm in a very problematic point in my life. <laughs> wow. I mean, that's an understatement. But everything was going to be better when Kitty and I got home. But now everything is confusing, and Grace is totally crazy. Talking to her was horrible. I really trusted her. I don't know what to do now. Mabuki said that I was selected for something. But she fell asleep again, and now won't answer my questions. I need my kitty. Mr. Midnight's hugs are the biggest comfort of my life. I just want to find him so we can go back to Thursday and be happy. Well, that was easy. Hmm, lovely pain. So profound. The bottle is now full of your tears. Give it to the critter that has your ticket. Go now. Time does not wait for anyone. Thank you. I'll be going now. Goodbye. Well, that was easy. Or at least quick. How about easy? Alright. Y'all need some fun tears. Thirsty? Here, drink this. You'll feel much better. Oh, try to poison me? Ha ha ha. Oh, lovely. Let's see. It's like the most profound and darkest elixir I've ever tasted before. Give me more. Give me more. No, leave me alone. You promised to give you the ticket if I helped you. All right, all right. There you go. Thank you. Your tears taste absolutely delicious. Okay, well. Look how pissed she looks. Oh, it's my turn. Hello, patient number two. We're going to do all we can to save you. Do you have an appointment? Well, not really. You told me to take a number and wait. I'm sorry. We don't have sick people without an appointment. But I'm not sick. I lost my kitty and I just want to find him. Oh, lost kitty. Don't worry. That's a natural reaction of your sickness. You're lucky, though. Many lose their mind instead. Ah, lucky? But how do I get an appointment, then? Well, just call me. Here's my card with my telephone. There's the telephone number. I have to memorize that? That's so many digits. It's 2020. Nobody remember, remember, remembers phone numbers anymore. Why must I call you? Why can't you just make an appointment now? Oh, that would be silly, because now I'm waiting for you to call me. Alright, all right, I'll go make the call then. At least it acknowledges some of this logic is just ridiculous. Um, 
Okay, so phone was 105? Yes. Alright, so what's the number? 01-221-217-276. Oh. That helps. Are you insane? Calls. Each button should have the same tone when you press it. Oh, hello, yes. You told me to make a call to make an appointment? Mm, it's Frambo. Uh-huh. Available now? No, no, eh, no. Yes, I do have a pair of eyes. Really? Okay. See you in a minute, then. Great, great. Thank you. Bye-bye. Yes. Oh. I'm actually going to tweet some of my phone-related anxieties. I hate calling things. Call for takeouts, okay, but I haven't even been doing much of that lately. All right, so. Hello, patient number two. Do you have an appointment? Yes, Frambo is my name, and the appointment is now. Let me check the archives. Yes, there you are. The doctor will see you in just a minute. Will you in a minute? Just go through the door to your right. All right, thank you. Peace. What now? Oh, there we go. Spooky! I'm sorry. Did I scare you? You look quite pallid. What a nightmare. You look like a healthy human. Oh, thank you, I guess. Now, if you don't mind, I have an appointment. I don't mind, actually, because it's none of my business. I love this guy. Oh, hello. You haven't chosen to end your life yet? Isn't the pain you feel enough? You're a more, aren't you? I haven't gotten the chance to introduce myself properly. Sadly, I cannot be seen in the third reality for long periods of time. I'm Ramor, the Terrible Black, Prince of Darkness. I know who you are. Don't try to act like nothing happened. You killed my parents. Where's my cat? What'd you do to Dr. Dearn? I enjoy immensely seeing your suffering dripping off your eyes. I feed from it. You're the manifestation of my desires. I can use you for whatever I want. Don't make this creepy, dude. You are under my power. That's not true. Not anymore. I won't allow you to trick me anymore. Tell me, why did you kill my parents? Why? You are assuming that I would. Was I that did such a terrible thing? I saw you that night outside my window. It must be you who did it. Crushed your eyes too much. Haven't you learned that human interceptors are weak? The body is fragile, easy to corrupt. She did it, didn't she? That's the whole deal here. That's that's. That's the what a twist. Yep. Well, at least that's what he's gonna show me. No, it can't be. Stop it. I didn't do it. I didn't. It wasn't me. Stop it, please. I mean, he could also just be messing with me. But this is kind of what I expected. Was it, my darling? Who killed your parents? The dull little critter must suffer and die before becoming a star. I will say the added, like, the, the, the continued stabbing animation is a nice little touch, like. I'll just rub it in a little. I haven't killed my parents, I haven't. That monster wants to trick me, I know. Everybody's crazy around here, I have to find Kitty and leave. Okay. Music got cool. Spine. All humans have that in common. I can always start a conversation like, Hello, we both have a spine. Isn't that awesome? Also good advice. He would look so funny with that skin. The brain has many different parts. It's like a delicate machine. Why does the brain have two sides? Hey, with water, good. If a Kamala comes around, I don't know what to do. Do I have anything I can pour that into? Not right now. Perf, I'm thirsty. Let's see if we get a cup or something. Oh, it's Dr. Dearn. And the kitty. Kitty, my darling, I'm here for you. Are you alright? Kitty, answer me. What's wrong with you? Wow. Wow. Why would you talk to me, Mr. Midnight? Please don't do this to me. 
I, I, I don't know if I trying to make a purr sound would a sound like a purr or b pick up on the mic. So I apologize. Talk to me, Mr. Midnight. This isn't funny. This uh, this place, isn't it? You must get out of here so you can talk to me again. I'll take you to a Thursday, my darling. Palantras can help us. I promise you, nothing will tear us apart again. Wow. Oh, kitty, I'll be right back. I must help Dr. Dean, all right? He seems to be in trouble. Yeah! I'll take a look around first. The old man again, Dr. Oswald. x rays this must be Dr. Dean's head. You're all right, Dr. Dean, no craziness. Apparently she's a doctor now. You know, she's really fond of brains and heads. All right, we got some fun stuff here, I see. Syringe with red fluid, okay. Contents are the same color as my pills. Can it be? Oh, so at least one of us needs to have the juice. I don't need this. I don't need this. I don't want to touch the switch. Dr. Dean, are you alright, sir? Sir, wake up, please. Dr. Dean, wake up. Are you alright? Alright, what should I do to wake him up? No, these buttons don't do anything. Alright, well. We give him the juice? Maybe this will wake him up. That was... Aggro. Oh, damn, what was that? Hey, wait, Dr. Deering, it's me, Fran. Ah, oh, what? I can't see very well. Fran Bose here from the Oswald Asylum. We were at the cemetery, remember? Ron, what happened? Why am I tied to a chair? What have you done? I'm trying to help you, sir. The big monster brought you here. We must go. Come on, Fran. Monsters, I don't feel like playing it. Alright, it wasn't a monster at all. Just let me help you. Oh, is this an asshole? And my aunt. What is she doing here? I thought you chained her. Ah, but I did. I told you she was a hard one to tame. Do you want me to get rid of her? Get rid of me? Aunt Grace, why are you talking like that? Who is this old man? How oh, lovely. You sounded just like your mother when she was young. My mother? How, do you know her? Who are you? Dr. Oswald Harrison. I know everything about you, Fran. Oswald from the Oswald Asylum? Yes, Fran, the same old man. What do you know? Why do you know about my mother and my aunt? Now, many years ago, I was studying the magnificent complexity of twin siblings. Oh, great. Another pair of twins? Lucia and Grace were part of my study. Both helped me to find the key to, the key to success. Ooh. Oh, apologies. The key? Hmm, did you know that my mother and father were murdered? Yes, of course. Rimor did a great job. His power of manipulation is extraordinary. What I don't understand is that you can be so calm about it. It was you holding that knife, after all. Not calm, sir. I knew it was Rimor all the time, but why does he hunt me? Rimor is the manifestation of your weakness. A blinded and powerful manifestation of your fears. But why would the monster kill my parents? Because your parents were interfering with my work. But I actually did you a favor. You are suffering. And pain is connected to growth and strength, Fran. That's a lie boomers have been telling us for how long? Oswald, please, let's just do what we need to do. Aunt Grace, please don't be mad at me. We're a family. Let us go. My kitty and I can go to a place without bothering you. Please, just let us go. Yes, you're right, friend. I'm sorry for being so hard on you. Come on, let's go now. Yo, get your hands off my cat. I'll come over there and kick your ass. I'm the one with the knife. Yo. Dr. Dean, are you alright, sir? Go with your aunt, Fred. Isn't that what you want? Well, probably gonna regret this. He's gonna throw him off the edge. Fran, my dear, listen to me. You must know Dr. Oswald always only wants the best for you. When Lucia was pregnant with you, he knew you'd be a very special girl. He told us to take good care of you, but your mother betrayed us. She wanted to hide you from us. He thought we wanted to kill you, but that's not true. Dr. Oswald really wants to give you the best, but for that, you must allow him to try a little experiment on you. And then everything will be fine? Of course, but there's still one thing we must take care of. This little traitor must go. Oh, it's fucking stab o'clock. You don't hurt a cat. No, no, kitty. Come on, Fran. Come on, Fran. 
Come on, Fran. Stop weeping. The cat is dead now. Leave with my friend. You killed my best friend. You also have to kill my parents, didn't you? Didn't you? How can you live with yourself? I hate you. I hate you. Yes. Kick her ass. Stop it, friend. Help. Help. Please help. I should probably have done that a little more strangled there, but... This is probably part of the final trial. Don't you dare touch Grace, you little monster. Oh, that's... That's gonna leave a mark. Oh my goodness, she's totally insane. Bring her to the, the, uh, do the experiment while she is still warm. I need to extract the braid right away. Oh, do we get to be Mecha Franbo? Bran, are you alright? What have you done with her? She tried to kill me. You were right about Fran, Dr. Dean. She was sick. But she's bleeding. Let me take care of her. No, you won't. She is mine now. I've been waiting for this moment for many years now. Looking for the right child. The right brain. Now that I have her, nothing can stop me. Yo! It's a skelly bro! Get the fuck out! You gotta go! You gotta go! Oh, Fran, everything would be fine. Ooh. Who, who are you? I'm Itward, the one many children talk about. But, but, you're not human. Ecto, ecto bro, ecto prote. Polontras, monarchist. It's our boy. Gurska, Itward, I found him. Oh my goodness, stay away from the girl, leave her alone. Alright! He's good. Polontras rules, number one. Little friend, but... I forgot what voice I used for him, so... Little Fran must be cured. You think you used the same body? Yes, she's not completely gone yet. Here I go. Oh, Mother Mabuka, you took the innocence of the child. Fran is now dead and alive. Wake up in darkness, Fran, and you'll be able to walk towards light. I need a med pack, not a poem. Well, I guess the poem's working, so... We'll go with it. Glow boys! I guess glow girls in this case. Okay. Uh, what happened, Itward? Palantris? My heart hurts. Well, the trajectory shooting her through the heart should have hit Grace in the head, but okay. Mr. Midnight, how? You're, you're alive, my kitty. I miss you so much. Please tell me something. Ron, we must go now. No? Alright. Dr. Jean, look, this is Edward and Palantras. I told you about them, remember? I told you they were real, see? Can you believe me now? <laughs> um, I guess not. He can't hear you. I think he's under the power of Mabuka now. He really must leave now. But he can, can he come with us, please? He's been really nice to me. He really wanted to protect me and help me. We can't bring him, we can't bring him with us. I'm sorry. What we can do is make him believe that all this was a dream. He'll wake up and think none of this really happened. But he won't remember you, Fran. I see. Well, that's okay, I guess. As long as he's safe. I guess he did kind of come around somewhat in the end. That's very kind. You've finally seen beyond your own desires. You're becoming one with everything. Your parents would be very proud of you. Really think so? Ah, uh, thank you, Palatris. Yay, fuzzy axolotl hugs. Now let's head Dr. Deer to home. Marcel Deer on Oanum Vecba Sudensla Ecto. It does seem like there's some logic to whatever language they made up for them. Or it's probably just like Swedish or something. They just borrowed it. Bye, Dr. Dearn. Let's go now, Fran. There's much. There's so much you must see and learn. Hey, that sounds like fun. Let's go, kitty. Still don't know many things. But one thing I do know. That between guilt and fear, I choose happiness.
Oh, the flying machine's working again. Sweet. Apparently it's got a lot of kettle turrets on it. Oh, that makes sense. If you're trying to defend yourself from, uh, from all those. That can't be the end. We, we can't just peace out. This is a, this has to be a fake out. It has to be a fake out. You can't just like put me through all that and not give me any sort of closure or vengeance. I mean, I guess you can, but. Okay, I, I like the joke about the English proofreading. That's good. Well, maybe we are done, but I'm pretty sure we're not done. Watch the credits either way, so we might as well let this run. I didn't know there was fan art. I, I kind of look up some fan art for this because they didn't get too weird, but that's cool. Yeah, I remember playing the demo back when it hit Steam ages ago. I just took my sweet time getting around to finishing the game. Even if this is the end, it was pretty solid. Definitely a beautiful game, like just... Not having like the whole um, universal concept that they had going on was pretty... It was, was kind of... Well, it wasn't glossed over, but like... They did a good job of explaining it. I kind of wish they'd done a little more with the other dimensions and stuff. This game's been out for five years. Didn't know that. Time doesn't mean anything for me anymore. I love that logo for Kill Monday. And now we know why there's a key in the uh, logo. 